today we'll discuss the characteristics of tc compound motor in this section we'll discuss tc compound motor the differential compound motor is rarely used in practice hence we'll discuss cumulative compound motors only as we know three characteristics are there one is speed current characteristics that is speed versus armature current characteristics other is torque versus armature current characteristics and third one is speed torque characteristics so first start with speed current characteristics for a long run compound motor we know voltage equation is given by vt is equal to ea plus ia into ra plus rs but we know ia is the armature current ea is the emf generated in armature circuit vt is the terminal voltage ra is resistance in armature and rs is the series resistance series field resistance now from this and we also know that ea that is armature equation or armature emf is given by k into phi into omega m where k is armature constant phi is the flux and omega m is the motor speed in rpm uh, sorry not in rpm it is in radian per second so now if we uh, replace phi with the actual phi in case of compound motor that is phi due to shunt field and phi due to series field so phi will be replaced with phi sh plus phi se now phi sh and phi se are the fluxes due to shunt field and series field so we are getting omega m from this equation we are getting omega m is equal to a by k into phi sh plus phi se so this is the equation of field now if we replace ea that is armature voltage with this one that is ea is equal to vt minus ia into ra plus rs that is that has been replaced okay in this equation we have replaced we have replaced ea with this equation so we have got omega m finally we have got omega m that is the speed of the machine compound machine compound motor is equal to vt minus ia into r plus rs divided by ka into phi sa plus phi se so in this equation equation we can see that phi omega m is related with armature current so this is the governing equation for speed current characteristics with increasing ia if we increase ia phi ac will increase uh, as a consequence denominator phi s phi ac is increasing so uh, phi ac is increasing denominator and denominator of the equation increases but its numerator its numerator will decrease as ia is increasing vt is constant so ia into ra plus rs this term will increase so numerator numerator will decrease and numerator will decrease and phi sa is is increasing so denominator is increasing thus the increase in ia the speed drops at faster rate in cumulative compound motor than in a shunt motor in a shunt motor in a shunt motor the drop in speed is much quite less compared to cumulative cumulative compound motor here denominator is decreasing that means with increase in ia denominator is in uh, denominator is so uh, numerator is increase uh, decreasing numerator is decreasing so it will reduce speed omega m with increase in ia phi ac is increasing that means numerator is uh, denominator is increasing that means the equation of omega m will decrease so this equation uh, 
in this equation increase in ia will decrease numerator which will decrease omega m again increase in ia will increase phi ac in denominator so hence uh, it will again it will again decrease omega m characteristics of a cumulative motor is shown here this is the characteristics of cumulative motor so speed is dropping with increasing ia this is the rated current this is the rated current value of rated current and this is no load speed now this is this one is a shunt motor we are comparing with uh, different motors shunt motor speed kind characteristics of shunt motor this one is speed current characteristics of series motor so we, are, we can get an overview of uh, different motors from this curve as far as speed current characteristic concerned now we'll move to torque current characteristics now we know torque is given by te is equal to ka into phi into ia this is a formula of torque that we have already derived we are already aware so in this compound motor the equation is same now phi will be replaced with phi ac and phi ac as there are two field field windings one is series field winding and another is shunt field winding so both winding will contribute flux here now at no load at no load ia is equal to zero almost zero ia is almost zero phi ac is zero phi ac is zero and therefore te is zero as ia rises with load shunt field phi ac is, remains almost constant Com uh, like a uh, shunt motor if we increase ia in that case shunt field shunt field will remain almost constant similar to a shunt motor but series field phi ac will rise as a result motor torque will be will also uh, motor torque also rises as for the equation this equation the shunt motor produces torque in case of shunt motor torque production is a into phi is into ia in this case in this case torque production in case of cumulative motor torque production is ka phi is and an additional term is there that is phi se so if we draw the curve this is the cumulative compound motor as the equation of uh, almost profession uh, pro proportionally it will increase e and i a uh, this equation is uh, almost uh, rise proportion uh, linearly but this is a shunt motor exact linear relation but here not exact linear relation it will contribute torque in compound motor torque is much higher than that of shunt motor as shunt motor in case of shunt motor phi s is, is constant so it's a perfect straight line if we neglect saturation and armature reaction but in case of uh, compound motor it is not perfect straight line it will increase compared to shunt motor as phi ac in this equation is not constant now we draw the series motor this is a rated current this is the rated current of the motor this is a series motor so from this curve we can um, get some understanding of torque current characteristics of different motors now speed torque characteristics we know that the equation torque equation of cumulative motor is given by this equation p is equal to ka into phi s a is plus phi s a into i a so from this equation you can write i a is equal to p by k into phi s a is plus phi s e and 
we know omega is equal to phi t minus i a into r a plus r s by k phi s a plus phi s e. Substituting the value of i a to the above equation, we get this equation we are substituting value of i a and we are getting omega m is equal to 1 by k a phi s a plus phi s e into phi t minus t e r a plus r s by k phi s a plus phi s e. This is the equation. Now, this is the equation relation between omega m and t e. So, this is the governing equation of torque speed characteristics. And if we simplify it again, then this will give this equation. So, we have already got this equation, this relationship. With increase in motor torque T e, if we increase motor torque T e, I a increases with this phi A C will increase. So increase in torque, if you gradually increase torque, motor torque, then it will increase I a, that is armature current, and consequently phi A C is, is almost constant, phi A C will increase. As first term, this, this term, first term of the equation gets reduced. If we increase TE, then phi AC will increase, so denominator will increase. So this term will reduce with increasing TE. And the second term, TE will increase, and phi SE will also increase. So this term will increase a little, not much. Consequently, the speed drop in a community motor is more than that in a DC shunt motor. Now, if we see the characteristics, this is the primitive motor, variation of speed with torque, variation of speed with torque, this is the cumulative motor. Now, this one is the rated torque, this line is the rated torque. Now, if we draw the uh, characteristics of shunt motor, speed torque characteristics of shunt motor, so the torque will drop more than that of shunt uh, machine, sorry, speed will drop more than that of shunt motor with increasing torque. Now, in case of series motor, this is the uh, variation of torque with, uh, this is the variation of speed with torque. So, from this, uh, this figure, we can uh, get some idea, an overview of speed torque relationship of the motors. Thank you.